Hi everyone. Welcome back to another SpaceX update video. SpaceX against all odds is racing towards the second Starship flight. Earlier this week, we saw the successful static fire test on Starship S-25 while Booster 9 patiently waited for its turn inside the Mega Bay. SpaceX's main focus before the next launch attempt is on rebuilding and upgrading the launch pad that was heavily destroyed during the first launch attempt. We have been seeing a lot of changes on the launch site, especially the orbital launch mount. We can see pipeworks dug under the launch mount to install the new water deluge system. Recently, SpaceX completed pouring new concrete under the orbital launch mount which was completely shattered during the first launch. Once the concrete is cured, we can expect SpaceX to start installing its highly engineered water-cooled steel plates on top of the concrete. Of course, completion of this water deluge system can take a while because of its complexity and all the components involved here are so big, thus it takes time to install them in place. If you have been following Starship development for quite a while, you already know how much the whole launch site has changed in just two months since the first flight on April 20th. Out of the many changes we have seen, expansion of the orbital tank farm is also another talking point. A big cryogenic tank was spotted heading towards Starbase on Wednesday. Later it was delivered to the launch site, which confirmed that this tank will be used as a horizontal cryogenic storage tank. Back at the production site, the new Megabay number 2 is rising. It has already reached its third level. It's just fascinating how SpaceX tries to scale up Starship production while upgrading the entire launch pad after just the first launch attempt. Do you think SpaceX is on track to pull off a launch in August like Elon said? I would love to hear what you guys think. 2023 has been a remarkable year in terms of seeing new rockets and new accomplishments in the space industry. Keeping up with the other players, the Indian Space Research Organization is sending its third spacecraft to the moon next month. Chandrayaan-3 mission which will carry a lunar lander and a rover is set for launch next month on July 13. India's best and heavy lift launch vehicle, LVM-3 will launch the spacecraft from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota on July 13 at 2.30 p.m. local time. Chandrayaan-3 will have the similar lander, rover used on Chandrayaan-2 which was launched back in 2019. The mission ended in failure after the lander crash landed on the moon and was not the first to bite the lunar regolith. India recently signed the Artemis Accord with NASA and I'm sure all the valuable data gathered from this mission will benefit the Artemis program. That is it for now. Thank you for watching and I will be back with more updates in the next video.